here. This is episode 114 of the End Aid series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. And I'm going to do a daily podcast um, uh, to the world every day until AIDS is ended, until no one ever dies from AIDS again. It's also Southern Time Productions Day 80 since I started it January 3rd this year. And it's March 24th, 2022 today. So, what the topic for today? Um, oh yeah, um, just got off the call with, uh, so on advice from the Chief Financial Officer in the Philippines, talked to him a couple days ago and he advised me, he sent a list of links of funding op, uh, bodies in Canada. Um, just a partial list, I know there's a lot more. but. Um, and he uh, advised me, well, if, you know, to call them, to make contact with them. So I left voicemails and sent emails. And, and today, the Rogers Fund got, gave me a call just uh, 15 minutes ago. And very nice lady, and uh, told me what they were about. And But she, you know, made it clear that they only fund um, children, teen, family, and one other category. But nothing uh, risque with uh, of her sex but she said got her talking more and uh, she said they do allow limits but it shouldn't be ex sexually explicit basically right um, and so yeah and so I said send her the information send me the information they do um, grant applications every April and uh, and uh, September so um, so I asked her to email me that and you know and another thing that CFO advised me is like, if you, and I told him that finding grants is very difficult, writing them, it takes a lot of time. And unless you're an expert grant writer, it's a science, grant, grant writing is a science. And uh, you have to make sure you follow all your T, know what the T's and I's are and make sure you follow them. I cross them and dot them. And uh, so, uh, um, so I, I told him, then he said, uh, well, find a grant writer then, but make sure they're an expert grant writer there because there are a lot of con artists out there and, uh, or ones trying to break into the field. And so they don't know really the ins and outs yet. So, um, but, um, but, and so I've been interviewing grant writers and, um, and so, and they, they don't, none of them do it. Uh, on spec, which one person asked, what do you mean on spec? It's a it's a film industry term when you do a script on spec. So um, um, I don't know what that it, what that means exactly, <laughs> but it's um, means um, like you you work for something in hopes if if the grant is awarded, then the grant writer will get a percentage of that. And they said that doesn't happen because if you get a grant from uh, corporate or publicly funded sources, they want to know what you spent the money on. And one of the things they don't allow is you don't pay your grant writer for that because you're supposed to do it yourself, <laughs> right? And uh, and so, or the money, if you do use a grant writer, you have to pay the grant money, the grant writer from some other money other than the grant. So uh, I did not know that. So I learned that. Anyways, that's my personal business, I guess, with Southern Time Productions, I guess. That's Partly, I don't know what to talk today. I know something's gnawing at me, but um, yeah, just the propaganda we live in. Propaganda um, from every side. This propaganda, right? And uh, and really, just assess it. Use your own brain to to assess the situation. Take all points of view into account. Just ask why, who benefits from supporting that uh, point of view. And um, or that action, um, and uh, and what's what's it really about? Do your own deductive thinking. I think instead of just following one side, don't let other people think for you. Maybe that's what this episode will be titled. The message today is: don't let other people think for you. So I'm kind of tired today, guys. I got to teach a lesson in 20 minutes, so gotta go. Take care. See you tomorrow.